What's up guys? So today I'm going to show you how to uh, repaint a vent cover with some Krylon Fusion all-in-one and a little bit of sandpaper. So uh, this video is going to be so easy. Basically anybody can do it. It's really just to show off how good Fusion is. So what you would need to do first is a light sanding. Basically, we're just getting off as much loose paint as possible and exposing the rust. It's pretty nasty looking. Let's get all those pieces out of there. All right, so one second. Let me... Okay, so once again, Krylon Fusion. It's one of the Sherwin-Williams brands. So I'm very familiar with it. I just wanna show you how awesome this product is. All right, what we're gonna do is a couple passes through. Let that sit for a minute. I'll actually let that dry and then I will um, continue. It just needs a few minutes here. All right guys, so we're back. Um, the recoat time on this is within two hours or after 24 hours. So it's been about, I would say, 10 minutes or so. So I'm going to go ahead and give it another coat. Uh, generally, you really just want to do very thin coats with these aerosols. Otherwise, uh, they have a tendency to, first off, uh, take forever to dry. But second off, um, you could get like some some cracking or like alligatoring it's called just from a heavy application of it but I have all the time in the world to let this dry so I'm applying heavy coats because I'm not too concerned about it plus it's only a vent that goes in a bathroom or I should say a vent covering so I'm not too worried about it but anyway um, that I don't want to grab it because it's wet but the first coat did a good job of covering, but there's still some rust spots. It still looks kind of ugly, so uh, this second coat here should uh, finish it off. Possibly I may need a third, but I'll see a significant difference with the second. Okay, so I also adjusted the camera a little bit, so I'm hoping this works out better. Give me one second here. All right, so here's the second coat. You just want to mist it on. All right, so that was a very heavy coat. Um, you're gonna notice some drips along the sides if you do a very heavy coat, but like I said, um, 
I'm really not concerned about that. I'm just kind of trying to touch it up and get rid of the rust. Nobody's really going to see it. It's in my bathroom. So um, the cosmetic aspect of it isn't the most important. I just don't want this rust to continue. And this is really going to prevent against rust coming back. So great product. All right, guys, I'll probably do one more coat and then I'll show you the final results. All right, so we're gonna put a third coat on this. Um, I realized I made a mistake in my last video. I said the recoat time is within two hours or after 24 hours. It's actually within two hours or after 48 hours. So that's very important to get the best results. All right, so I'm gonna add the third coat here. Um, this coat, I'm not going to apply as heavy. I'm really going to hold it back further and just uh, mist it on. That's really what you're supposed to do here. I, the first two are very heavy, um, and I just want this to get a good dry. So I also, as you can see, uh, turned it so it's vertical. It's going to be a little easier to work with. Okay, so now I'm gonna let this officially completely dry here, and then um, I'll show you the results. Well, hello there. Okay guys, and that's the finished product. Um, as you can see, there's still a little bit of uh, the roughness from where it was rusted. I didn't sand that down all the way. I kind of just covered it. So it is going to be a little bit noticeable that there's a texture there, but that's okay for uh, this instance. Also, if you notice behind, like inside where there's dark areas, that's actually a bunch of caked on dust. It doesn't cover the best with uh, spray paint, but um, that's really not noticeable when it's on the wall.